Um, so arrangement is really just creating tension and resolution by using space. So figuring out where your hundred is and then taking shit out. And typically you want to take stuff out in the verses and bring it in the choruses. So that is my best advice when it comes to arrangement. So hopefully that makes sense. Is that the question? Like how, I, how am I doing all the stuff that I'm doing with the pop songs that I play? I'm wondering if that's the question. Because there's like different levels of arrangement. So I was just curious if you're wanting, like how would I arrange a song? Derpy Melon, what's up? Luan, he's just straight up in the chat. What? Levitate away. Okay. Well, I will give you, um, I'm not sure exactly what the question is nomadic for the arranging part, but um, why don't we do levitating as an example? Okay, so levitating uh, is three chords and the truth. <laughs> It's a, um, it's a, like, depending on how you like to see music, uh, I see things in numbers in relative to the major scale. So I'm like a six, three, two, six. But some people be like, you know, whatever they do. But anyway, it's an E minor, a B minor, and then an A minor, and then back to E minor. Now, whenever you're approaching, uh, when, you're, when you're thinking about arranging, so this is a bit of nerd stuff, and I'm gonna kind of ruin the song for you. When you're playing guitar and you're singing, you are now the whole recording. So when someone goes to listen to you, you need to learn how to emulate what the recording is. So the arrangement style has to become down to like, oh, how can I be clever and create the same feeling of energy that a professional recording does with all the production and everything and instrumentation and all that stuff, backing tracks and harmonies and double tracking, like all the things that are involved there. How do I do that with a guitar and singing? So the trick there is learning where your ceiling is and my ceiling for this song, I will set up the ceiling for the song, which will be. That's that's a hundred for me, like in this song. Now the one for me is that's one. I guess that's kind of like my range, right? So that's the range of in the arrangement. What is the bare minimum that I could do? I could just play the bass note of the um, the chords that I'm meant to play, and then the full like next level is me doing a, a big loop um, and then smashing it out. But if I wasn't looping, it'd just be me kumbaya -ing. Like if I wasn't looping, it'd be like. I just have a loop pedal here and it sounds way cooler. Um, so, but you can do this, you can completely do this without having a loop pedal. Um, but so the arrangement thing is now you've got to, now you've got to plan out like, it's not so much about What's all the fancy things that you can do? It's just, what are the things I can take out and how can I set it up in a way that will sound good? And so you wanna go tension, resolution, tension, resolution. You wanna create movement. So you always, I mean, this is how I typically will do it. Not you always have to, but you can do this. This is a strategy. I start the verse, very minimal. So it'd be either chord, um, or just chord chill vibe. And then the chorus will be full bang. I will hit the 100 and then I'll be dropping it back to around 50. And then I go back to full bang on the chorus. So I'm going like low and then high and then middle and then high. And then I bring it all the way. If I, if I decide to do like a little bridge section or like another verse, I will bring it all the way back down to the bottom to then bring a big smash. So let's go through the song and you'll hear it exactly what I do. So I got that. Wanna run away with me? I know a galaxy, and I could take you for a ride. Had a 
premonition that we fell into the rhythm where the music don't stop life. Dean, glitter in the sky, glitter in your eyes, shining just the way you like. If you're looking for a little, little bit of company, you let me at the perfect time. You want me, I want you, baby. See, I'm a little warming up. Levitating, the Milky Way, where I'm friendly getting. Yeah, 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 I got you. Moonlight, you're my starlight. I need you all night, yeah. Come on, dance with me, yeah, I'm levitating. I'm levitating. I don't actually know the verse. See, am I like 50? You want me, I want you, baby. Mouth of the bull, I'm levitating. The Milky Way, we're gonna get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. You can fly away with me tonight. You can fly away with me tonight. Baby, let me take you for a ride, yeah. You can fly away with me tonight. You can fly away with me tonight. Baby, let me take you for a So I would want to bring it even further down, even further down. You can bring it up, you know. You, all night, you're my starlight. I need you all night, yeah. Come on, dance with me, yeah. I'm left to you. All night, you're my starlight. Build it up. You. You can fly away with me tonight. You can fly away with me tonight. Then you let me take you for a ride. Yeah, yeah. And so you can see how, like, I set up the sections that I'm like a little bit and then big and back and big. And then that creates this dynamicness in your playing. Because a lot of people are always going to jump in when it comes to arrangement. Um, they don't think about that. They like they get the song and then they get the lyrics. Like they like, oh, what are the chords to the song? What are the lyrics in the the vocal? And then they're like, okay, I'm done. And then they would approach that song and then be like, You want me? I want you better. My sugar the blue. I'm levitating the Milky Way. We're renegading. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got you all night. That's how they would do it, like the whole song. If you wanna run away with me, I know a galaxy and I can take it for a ride. Had a premonition that we fell into the rhythm and the music don't stop my... And you can hear it, like seriously, go to any bar or anything like that. You will hear a lot of musicians just do that. Um, they kind of like just close enough is good enough and then they just pass it. Um, so arrangement is really just creating tension and resolution by using space. So. Figuring out where your hundred is and then taking shit out. And typically you want to take stuff out in the verses and bring it in the choruses. So that is my best advice when it comes to arrangement. So hopefully that makes sense. And that brought you value. Jaden, what's up?